How do you recover mentally after two losses in life? Later, you went on to win many games. This is a, a thing which I find very difficult to do. Yeah, um, <clears throat> it's a good it's a good question. Uh, I never, frankly, I always thought that I responded pretty poorly to uh, to losses. Um, that I would, especially, well. Not always. When I was little, um, I mostly played tournaments with stronger players. So losing was normal. Um, I just saw it as opportunities to learn. So it was, it was fine. Uh, later, of course, I would lose a lot of important games and they would sometimes get me quite tilted. But uh, I don't know, then I would just... Um, you know, sometimes take a little bit more risk in the in the next few games, and it would work. It would work out a lot, but specifically now in Valencia, I was a lot calmer. Um, frankly, I felt that in the two games that I had lost, like you know, I hadn't done that much wrong. Um, I I was just focusing on trying to remain disciplined, uh, disciplined, like sticking to the things that I know that usually uh, work in terms of um, what I do for, um, uh, for preparation and my, my routine. And I, I thought like eventually it's a good, that, you know, it's a good chance that it, it will turn around and like, if I would felt that um, I'd done something really, really stupid in those two games, I would be more upset, I think. But what happened is, like, in the first game, I played a risky opening, uh, trying to play for a win against Kiri. Um, I fell for a tactic and was, was crushed. And in the second game, we played a very, very complicated game. I sacked the exchange. Um, we both made some mistakes, but it was very, very hard to play, and and I, and I lost. It was, it was was fair enough. So I didn't feel like I'd done anything particularly wrong. Uh, also, like I'd been well rested for for those um, for those games. Like I was not forgetting to to eat during the games or anything. So I, I still felt like I was doing the right thing. So I will eventually, I will eventually turn it around. But yeah, in the past it's been, I've, I've not been the person to follow when it comes to, uh, to dealing with uh, losses because uh, like I, um, I become really pissed. Usually I'm able to sleep well, but I, I'm like really pissed and not in a complete, um, um, not, in a, not in a complete mental balance for sure. Could two losses influence your opening choice in the next game? Uh, well, it was two losses, it's such a rare occurrence. I mean, yes. you don't have much experience, but I think it was 10, 10 years before the last time or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like, my, the st statistics say that I do very well after losses, but I think, I don't know. I, I think that I play a little bit worse, but I also put more pressure on my opponents, so they play worse. I always thought that uh, he reacted very well over the board, so that when the game starts next day, he's actually seems to be balanced and such. I mean, you might be uh, on tilt and uh, I don't know, make some weird choices or watch football or mind or whatever. I mean, but that it would always recover in time for the next game, and that's what matters. Yeah. yeah usually, usually, when I sit down at the board, yeah. well, exactly. That's so it's, then, it's then, then it seems to be all what happens before that. As long as it, as long as it reverts to good thing at the board, it doesn't so matter, matter so much what happens before. As well. Okay. Yeah, I have a question related to that. So losses never really hurt your confidence. Also, maybe when you were younger, you said it was like a learning opportunity. So you never had any self doubts because you lost the game. Oh yeah, I, I had lots of self doubts because of that. Like there have been many, many times even later in my career where I was thinking like where I've suffered a bad loss and I'm thinking like, yeah, maybe I just lost it. Maybe I. Don't have it anymore. Maybe, 
uh, or, or a tournament where I um, failed to win several good positions and I'm thinking like, how am I ever going to win the games? Um, I, I think um, in, in, the, in the past when I was young, it was very easy. I, I always thought, like even, if, even, even in that year, um, not a year, uh, but like eight months where I had re relatively poor results, I always thought, yeah, next game, next game, next game, next turn. I, I know I can do it. I just haven't been able to show it. And like in the hindsight, I would say it was delusional, but uh, it certainly helped me. Uh, and I never, yeah, in th those days at least, I never ever lost confidence. Like when you grow up, I think it's a little bit, it's a little bit different. Um, like confidence is very hard to, uh, it's very, hard to sort of attain and very easy to lose um, but uh, I some, somehow was managed to, to find it again. I remember your first wipe very strongly in terms of that, uh, well you actually ended up last in the April as well yeah. with a minus four minus five and I think you were doubting yourself, I was also, well I was working for Vichy but I was his second there and I thought, okay, maybe he's actually not as good as uh, as I thought in the world. But then, short, well, a couple of months afterwards, you were number two in white uh, in Linares, which is the strongest tournament, only after Vish, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, then you managed to recover incredibly, right? and, and only a couple of months, right? Yeah, but I think that happens a lot when you play in new tournaments. Uh, you play in new tournaments, then I won the first round, and I was like, oh, maybe I'm not so bad. So. Oh, well, I mean, Linares was actually quite a stronger tournament than Mike. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah.